Name's Carl. I have a couple videos on YouTube uh, about turning duck calls. Um, I had a couple of questions, so this video is in response to those. Um, a few people want to know exactly how a pin chuck worked and how it holds the, the call in place as it's turning. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick and try to uh, clear up any confusion there might be on how it actually works in there. Pullet chuck, I picked it up at Woodcraft. It has several different size collets that, that fit in foot into it. Um, this is a 5 8 inch mandrel that I'm using. And how the pin chuck works is take a small see where I cut it out flat there and take a pin that's the same height as the the mandrel and you slide your call over it or your work piece and then here how it works is when you, you turn the lathe on real quick, it rolls that pin over just a little bit enough to tighten it up so that you can turn your piece without it slipping and then if you want to loosen it up you just hit it back the other way and pull the call off it slides off and on just be careful of dropping the pins all the time um, that's as easy as that. Just wiggle it back and forth and it'll slide over and then it'll lock right in. This can you can make these in different diameters too. I have a, a 7 8 one for goose calls too. So it's just just like that, just locks right in. Um, just real simple to make too. Um, if you have uh, a milling machine or know somebody who does it, it makes it a lot easier. This is um I had to, I made this on the grinder and then filed it flat. It has to be flat, so if you make it on the grinder, it's not not very hard. But once you get it down down about where you want, you actually need to file the two sides here flat. So you want you don't want this cupped out in the center, or this piece won't won't hit right when it tries to roll over. And you can see it locks it right in. I hope that helped. Uh, cleared up any questions about how it actually worked. And other than that, I'll keep posting videos. Thanks a lot.